Here's the list. They've got Murray, number one. They both have Bosa, two. They both have Josh Allen, three. Quinn and Williams, four. Devin White, five. And that's when it gets interesting because you're wondering where the rest of the quarterbacks are. We don't have to wonder any longer because I have them both standing by live. Mel Kuyper Jr., Todd McShay, ready to go. Mel, I'll start with you. We sit 22 days away from the draft. In your mind, Kyler Murray going number one, is that an absolute stone-cold lead pipe lock? I believe it is. Uh, I just think of it for Cliff Kingsbury, Greeny, it's the ideal fit. You could say, well, Rosen would be okay, but who's ideal? Who's the best fit? You could say, okay, you think about Andrew Luck and where he would be. Andrew Luck was going to go number one to anybody that needed a quarterback. Kyler Murray, that's not the case. Kyler Murray is the number one pick because of Cliff Kingsbury. Had somebody else that needed a quarterback been picking one, maybe Kyler Murray wouldn't have been that guy. So he's not a, a guarantee for everybody, but I think for Arizona and Cliff Kingsbury, he is. Yeah, the fit is there, Mel. There's no question about it. But I, I, I hesitate to say he's a lock right now because, first of all, you've got to deal Josh Rosen. And I think that that's what Arizona's got to work through. And also, I mean, Nick Bosa's out there. And if you think you can win with, with Rosen quarterback and go get it, a, a Bosa, it's better than what you're going to get maybe at 15 if you deal this pick to, to Washington. So there's still work to be done here. I think there are people in the building that really would love Kyler Murray. And I think as an organization, they probably are trying to go down that road. But it still has to get done between now and the draft. Todd, let me go then to Dwayne Haskins. You both have him going six. I know you don't project trades, but in your heart of hearts, do you believe there's enough interest in Haskins that the Giants or someone will have to move up earlier than six to get him? I don't think so. I really don't. I think if any of these quarterbacks is going to fall a little bit, it, it might be Haskins. It'll be interesting to see. I, I keep hearing that the Giants may not be in love with, with Haskins. I put him there because I, it's really kind of the only place in the top ten I felt good about putting him. And I do think ultimately he'll wind up going somewhere in that range. But it, it may be a team moving up. Or, you know, they could, the Giants could just pass on him and wind up taking uh, Drew Locke, you know, a little bit later uh, in the first round with that 17th pick. So I, Haskins is the most interesting of the three because I think as we get closer, you look at Locke and all the teams are starting to say 46 games. Locke's a veteran. He's been through a lot. The confidence. Haskins only one year starter. I'm getting more and more information from teams that Haskins could wind up falling a little bit further than both Mel and I have him going right now at number six. Yeah. And, Todd, you know, teams aren't going to say. They're not going to let you know. There's a lot of misinformation this time of year. And the quarterbacks – could fall, I think, for Haskins. If he doesn't go six, then all of a sudden he's in play for Denver, Cincinnati. You think about teams like that, or maybe Washington jumping up. Rosen will be an, a wild card in this as well to where he ends up. But I think for Dwayne Haskins, you put him at six. You see what happens. The Giants, hey, at 17, they could get Daniel Jones, quarterback Duke. That's what you're hearing, guys, is that they pass on Haskins. They take a defensive player, then get, say, Daniel Jones from Duke. If Locke's gone and Locke probably by that point in the draft will be. So I think Haskins is going to be fascinating. If he's there at six after passing on Darnold and Josh Allen last year, pass on Haskins and then take a quarterback at 17. You better be That's a ready big to move risk, Mel. Because it That's is a because big risk, man. Could, all of them could be gone by 17. Right. So it is a risk if you pass on Dwayne Haskins at six. Will they, let me ask you this really quick. I have less than a minute here. Make sure. Will there be a quarterback that they want sitting at 17 when the Giants get there? I think possibly if they like Daniel Jones, I don't. Mel does. Just a, a difference of opinion. So I, I think he's more of a second, third round guy, a backup. Some teams like him a lot more than I do, apparently, and Mel, Mel does. But I think at 17, you feel really good about Daniel Jones being there, Kuiper's guy. But Drew Locke, I don't, you can't be convinced that he's going to be sitting there. So maybe if, if you do go defense with that first pick at six, you better be ready to package some picks and move up from 17 to go get your guy. A smile on Mel's face I know. tells a million <laughs> words.